The local delegation of the Massachusetts State House met with trial court officials tonight to get an update on the Springfield Courthouse. And tonight we are hearing from those leaders. 22 News reporter Sydney Snow is live for us in Springfield tonight in Sydney. It sounds like there are still a lot of safety questions here. Yeah, Don, these local lawmakers say that they are hopeful for the future of the courthouse, but there is still no immediate fix, which they say needs to happen. This is the hall of justice. It shouldn't be the hall of injustice, and this is environmental injustice. Top trial court officials, including Chief Justice Paula Carey, were in Springfield to inspect the Roderick Ireland courthouse. At the same time, meeting with local lawmakers. And during that meeting, the trial court said extensive testing of the courthouse will take place over the next few weeks. And that will include the air handlers, the air ducts, electrical systems, and the pipes. This building is sick. I mean, even if the studies come back and say, okay, the air quality is good, the ducts are good, the uh, electrical is good, uh, there's still an underlining issue here, right? People have gotten sick. People have died of cancer. They've died of ALS. The trial court said the building will remain open in the meantime, despite the concerns of those who work inside the building. Local lawmakers feel once again, Western Massachusetts is being overlooked. If this was a courthouse in Boston Municipal or Roxbury, they would have figured a way how to resolve the situation to make their people feel comfortable going into the building. The trial court is exploring other sites that will allow court operations to continue, but it's unknown where exactly that will be and when that will happen. So again, the courthouse will remain open, but all lawmakers I spoke with tonight said one thing is for sure, the courthouse needs to be completely replaced. We're going to be live in Springfield, Sydney Snow, 22 News.